All right, guys, what is up? I'm going to be showing you all my, how to get uh, Dreamboard and uh, how to get special themes from Dreamboard. And uh, it's like a winter board, but uh, more advanced and makes your phone look sleeker, like different things. So, first, you're going to search for Dreamboard in Cydia, and there it is. Um, so, modify it's going to say it because I've already installed it. Um, but it's a pretty nice app overall. So, get it from Cydia, it's free from the main source, even. So, install that and uh, pretty much um, after this we need to go and add another source to get all of the free dream board themes um, all in one that there is possible so we can get started uh, by dream boarding and that is repo.insanelyi.com uh, once you add this source um, it should give you the required files for dream board uh, so it's the Insanely Eye Repository. Now go to Sections and scroll all the way down to Eye Dream Board. Yeah, click on it, and you'll have all these Dream Board themes you can use with your actual Dream Board app, which makes it really nice um, and convenient because they're all free. So you can simply download ones such as uh, Mac OS X Lion or something like that, and uh, it makes it look like a Mac. So uh, we can download that. It's going to say Modify because I already have it installed, but. Uh, just go ahead and download whatever you want. Uh, I'm just showing you an example. This is kind of one of my favorites because it's so cool. But I'm going to go to Dreamboard right here, uh, opening it up, and uh, selecting the Mac um, OS X Lion one. Uh, the first time booting up, it'll take longer than this, what it takes right now, because it's already loaded and stuff. So every time you open it up, it usually says install it. It's uh, kind of a fake setup, but you know, it still makes it look realistic. But, uh, you can do whatever, select pictures and features, and uh, how things will show up. But overall, it's pretty cool. Um, I simply went through it, but uh, it looks like a Mac, and it, it's kind of cool, you know. You can go through your hard drive. Uh, it gives you all the same Mac interactions, all that stuff. But uh, it's a pretty sleek theme. Um, I did not, I'm not going to the hard drive right now. I don't know why, but... Um, probably you know I'm just trying to save some stuff but yeah as you can see right here it did get a little um, it's getting a little bit glitchy I'm sorry about that but uh, usually it doesn't happen like this it's uh, just the way I did it but anyways uh, it just looks like a Mac and it's a pretty cool theme I suggest you get it and I'm going to be showing you some other themes now too um, so I'll be showing you Boxer HD this is another one that a lot of people like um, and it you know, it's got a really sleek theme if you like your phone looking different. Um, also, I can show you Bookshelf. It's supposed to make your iPod or iPad, depending on which one you get, look like an Amazon uh, Kindle Fire. Um, so it looks like a bunch of books, but those are actually apps um, to open. For example, opening opening up the Rango one, it opens up Cydia. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, it's just how it is. So... And then you have your, like, your little apps button and a bunch of more stuff. But I'm going to exit out of this one and I'm going to go to uh, Samsung Galaxy S2. Now this makes it look like a Galaxy S2 and that looks pretty sweet, I'd say. So definitely a getter. Um, you can open up everything in this one. Uh, all that crap. It makes it look like a, a, Amazon, or a Galaxy S2 interface, but it still keeps the iPhone... Uh, apps and all that crap and it all looks the same but uh yeah cool so that's pretty much what Dreamboard does it's not as open source as Winterboard but it definitely um adds a lot of fun to your device so if you like the video uh please subscribe uh please thumbs up it was a good video and if you would like to see more Winterboard themes just suggest and I'd love to all right